How's it going today, YouTube? This is Joseph here once again, also known as Underappreciated Classics. Well, it's that time of the year again. Another milestone. Today is October the 8th, 2023, and it is the three year of ownership for Victoria. Well, I got some good news. Um, I've got things lined up finally to be able to get the transmission replaced in this car. I got a buddy of mine that's going to be helping me change out the transmission and get the new one installed later this coming week. Um, not this week, but next week is the plan. Given that all goes to plan, we're going to have it out of the uh, vehicle by the middle of next week. Get the new one installed and get everything reprogrammed in the vehicle to get it up on the road again. But... Uh, <clears throat> I haven't really done a whole lot to this car over the last uh, nine months or so. It's been kind of on the back burner. I've just basically been driving it in service limp mode for the time being, back and forth to work until I ran into some problems. But uh, it's been sitting for about a month and a half in the driveway, not going anywhere, just because I haven't had any ability to work on it up to this point um, to get things back in serviceable condition. But um, it's still got electric power, so. The nice thing of it is, is we're actually planning things out pretty well because if we look here, it's a comfortable 72 degrees. Yeah, I need to change the oil. It needs an oil change. So that's why it's sink service reminder. But the temperatures are starting to come down around these parts. So um, we won't be breaking our butt in 100 degree weather anymore, which is really nice. The vehicle is sitting currently at a little over 141,000 miles. I drove it under 1,500 miles over the course of the last nine months, mostly just due to the mechanical issues that I've been running through recently. But um, once I get the transmission replaced, I plan to get it back on the road full time as my daily driver and enjoy it even more than I've been doing. And probably what I'm going to do is is get the wood trim installed after I get the car back from uh getting the transmission replaced but i want to go on ahead and show you guys another thing that i've been having to deal with recently with the car since the last time you saw me on video with this vehicle it's currently just sitting in the back burner because i don't have the tool to be able to get it out of the engine compartment but um we had a problem occur and i was going to make a youtube video about it but we ran into issues in the process of working on it so 
that video has been postponed and will go together with Project uh, Daily Fifth Avenue Episode 11, Transmission Repair and Rebuild. But if you look here, you'll see a rag. I've got a rag placed right here and the hose is disconnected. But what's going on here is I was in the process of attempting to try and change out the radiator thermostat that's mounted on the passenger side part of the engine right here that lets the um, cold water return to the engine. It sprung a pretty bad leak um, about a month and a half ago. And uh, me and my friend uh, Daniel Sharon, if you remember him from one of my uh, previous videos that I did about two years ago of his uh, one of his Jeeps firing up. He came over with some tools and we attempted to get the um, the thermostat out, but in the process we snapped a bolt in the engine area of the vehicle. There's a bolt down here that the tip of the bolt snapped in the process of us trying to get it out of the engine compartment. And uh, so I got to get... Um, a bolt extractor and pull that bad bolt out and get it removed and then we're gonna have to put a new thermostat in but um otherwise we're just gonna change the transmission out and i've got some wheel hubs that are on the rear that need to be changed the passenger side rear wheel hub is on its way out and so i need to change that before i start traveling back home to uh, where I live here from where my friend's at. It's going to be about a three-hour drive on the interstate. and I don't know whether or not that's going to actually last, but I have all the parts that I need in the back here. I've got wheel hubs. I've got replacement um, hoses. I've got new shift... Well, new shift packs on the transmission that's in here currently, but I've got a new shift pack. I've also got the original shift pack in this box right here. So we have replacement shift packs if we need it. Um, I need to go by and get the other hose. We we're gonna change out the radiator hoses because they're getting kind of old. But uh, there's the wheel hubs for the rear inner and outer wheel hubs. And I've got the original uh, replacement thermostat in the Mark Cross box in the interior of the uh, car. So I've got everything that I need thus far to get the car back on the road. But the weird thing is when they gave me my new thermostat, um, they did not give me a gasket in this kit. There is no gasket in here. So um, I need to potentially go by and buy a new liner gasket for this thing but this is a 160 degree um fahrenheit thermostat so it'll run a little bit cooler in the summer to protect the engine from overheating and it should hopefully bring the temperature down on the transmission housing as well a little bit so that it doesn't get too hot and one other thing that we're thinking of doing at some point is we want to go on ahead and change out the transmission cooler from the original one to an aftermarket cooler to allow the um, transmission to run a lot cooler. So there's the original thermostat and thermostat housing. As you can see, they're pretty, pretty dirty. I've got one of the bolts that went into the uh, engine in this bag as well so that we can reuse it. We're just going to have to go get one more bolt that'll be about the same size so that it'll be secure. But um, I've got, you know, miscellaneous pieces that are in the vehicle as well that I can use if I need them. I've got new input sensors for the transmission as well that are currently in the new transaxle. Uh, or not new, but uh, the original transaxle with... Uh, new input sensors as well as a new shift pack so if we have to replace anything i've got spare parts of plenty for the replacement of this transmission so expect the next video of this vehicle to be out sometime in the early part of november um, at the latest hopefully given that all goes well 
um, with the plans that I have set up, and I'll probably have this thing back on the road uh, within the next two to four weeks, hopefully. So, anyways, that's the three-year update and uh, project update for Daily Fifth Avenue, and I will see you guys in a couple weeks, hopefully. Thanks for watching.